In our work at Open Source Ecology, we publish all the documents online. Typically where we do that is the wiki. So first of all, if you want to look at the documents, all that's been generated for the bulldozer, go to opensourceecology.org slash wiki slash bulldozer. You'll be taken to the main development page on the bulldozer and you will see there's a spreadsheet a little bit, bit way down. It's a Google spreadsheet embedded within a page and it has about 50 or so different items everything from the design to the CAD files to uh, bills of materials, any supporting document necessary, videos, links to pictures, any documentation. One of the documents here is the modularity document, which we go over the main modular design elements of this project. So here, let's go briefly through what this document entails. First of all, we're, we talk about absolute complete module-based design such that a part can be used not just in the bulldozer, but many other applications. So the bulldozer starts with the main, main modules, starting with the universal rotor, the tracks, the lift arms, bulldozer blade, and other modules. Bulldozer, um, six-way blade, hydraulic controls, we talk about different configurations because the, the bulldozer is made of individual power cube units. We can reconfigure them as we like. For example, to make a bulldozer or an articulated bulldozer, maybe a grader, which has got two power units with a blade in between. Anything highly flexible like an erector set. So you got bills of materials, universal drawbar with keyline plow, a ripper, and a backhoe. So those are the modules we have explored so far. We start with a base module, which is a simple power cube with tracks to which we can attach a quick attach loader arm and a quick attach plate to which you can attach just about anything. From the base unit, you can add a cab for the operator to sit in. If you are using the, the micro track as a walk behind, you can simply walk behind the tractor or now add a cab. You can add one, two or three power cubes onto this base vehicle so you can have between 27 and 81 horsepower, basically a tiny uh, loader, a skid loader application. So take a look at the modular loader arms. They're unique in the sense that you can move the, the attaching three inch shaft, so the loaders and cylinders attach with this three inch shaft. You can move that anywhere on the top, bottom, and the back of, of the cab. So you can attach the lift arms either low, like in this configuration for a bulldozer, or actually high with the cylinder underneath as you need. So highly modular, we can shift where the cylinders attach around. We, we also sh uh, attach the cylinders very loosely using a clamp collar so that we can dismount that cylinder and use another one. So the clamp collar use is very common as a module here. Uh, combined with the 4x4 tubing and the, and the stock bonding plate, as here, we can modify things readily. So here we talk about just uh, the various modifications we can make, curl, lift cylinder, uh, reconfiguring things. So now we talk about a universal quick attach plate to which any heavy implement can be attached, including connecting to another bulldozer to make it a two bulldozer unit, like a trained operation. And we go from there, from the ability to attach any module on the quick attach to things like a bulldozer blade. Or if you talk about a six-way rotating blade, we can first attach a rotating pivot on the front of the, of the quick attach plate so we can get angling of the blade. Or you can use that to connect between two cabs to get a groundhog pivot. There's various things. But it's a modular uh, pivot, large-scale pivot, and it can be controlled by cylinders. Uh, this is for the particular application right here for the bulldozer, the angle on a, sorry, the tilt on a, on a blade. We've got the hydraulics in a separate document. So we go through the hydraulics, but it's a whole different uh, document, which we'll go through later. Look at the links. Here's the more on the blade. The blade features rotation and angle and tilt. Uh, this is an old design that we've had from before. You can look up the wor work of Leandra from before, but right now we're going to simplify the design uh, even more to make the blade even more modular. So here we show the universal rotor with clamp modules attaching the sprocket to drive the, the tracks. 
here we talk more about how we do that. We, the clamps are a, are a very big part of our work. Here we're showing in the universal rotor section how we are building this clamp out of tubing so that the high power sprocket that's attached to the drive motor does not have a keyway, so you simply clamp it on so you can remove it and modify as you need. And that's an uh, interesting piece of innovation here. This is how it looks. Four bolts, clamp this on all together. And here we go to what the overall bulldozer modules look like from the control cab, power cubes, dead weights, tracks and chains, lift arms, blades. We can put more lift arms on the back, universal drawbar with a ripper on the back. And when we do this, we build upon all the previous modules that we've already done. And here you can link to all the, you can see all that's been done. The structural power cube, modular wheel units, structural modular, modular tubing, the fact that we can scale the power cubes, that we can scale the pivot joints and other joints. Um, and starting with our design principles, which are OSE specifications, the life track construction set concept, the universal rotor construction set, and the construction set concept as a more general framework. Here we discuss the configurations that we're actually currently in this workshop, the bulldozer workshop we're working on, starting with a small micro track, like in the back here, to a micro track with a cab in the front and two power cubes. Then we do two micro tracks side by side, or three of those units for a much heavier, maybe 15,000 pound machine with 21,000 pounds of pushing torque altogether. That number should be not 18,000, but 21,000 um, for the three sections. More work about how the cylinders can attach. They can attach anywhere, so you can have a high loader or a bulldozer. Here we talk about how you attach things together, bolt holes. Well, in that case, you have to be careful if there's bolt conflicts, but that's pretty much with the, with the structural tubing, you have a large flexibility as far as where to attach things altogether. Uh, we've built a backhoe before. We're going to simplify and make it more modular this time. Um, here, I just show about how the industry standards have already done things like putting bulldozers together to get more effective bulldozing, or actually, this is the side by side configuration, or trailed one behind the other. So, we're not really inventing anything new here. We're just making that as a practical, everyday part of our operation. So, altogether, that about wraps up the, our approach here by using clamping bolts, by using modular wheel units, rotors, clampable sprockets, modular tracks, modular power units, modular arm units, we, uh, basically things that can angle and bend. Though we're modularizing that so these are all add-on one-by-one additions to the machine so we can be extremely flexible in our bulldozer construction set.